Now you will see how to use MetaTrader 5 to trade Forex, Gold and other assets easily. You may have seen my previous MetaTrader 5 tutorial for the MT5 app. But today I will show how you can use it also on your computer. You will learn more in detail what is MetaTrader 5, how to get started through Bybit, how to use this MetaTrader 5 platform and my number one recommended trading strategy. But first, when you want to start using MetaTrader 5 through Bybit, you need to create the 100% free Bybit account. And I will leave your link in the description right here below the video where you can get up to 30,000 dollars worth of welcome bonuses. After clicking the link below my video, you will land on the Bybit registration page where you will see my face, my name and the details of your welcome rewards. You will create your free account using your email, phone number, Google, Apple or Telegram account and then you click here get my welcome gifts. Once you are inside Bybit, you will find MetaTrader easily here on the trade and gold and FX section, so gold and Forex. MetaTrader 5 is a platform for trading all kinds of assets including Forex, cryptocurrencies, gold and other commodities. You can use up to 500x leverage. There is a good liquidity and more than 100 popular trading pairs. You can also use different indicators and trade on the go using your mobile phone as I've shown you earlier. You can use it on any device you want, your Android phone, iPhone, Windows or even Mac computer as you can see here. MetaTrader 5 is one of the biggest forex trading platforms in the world and it's mostly designed for short term traders. You don't typically buy assets directly but you buy different products that give you price exposure to assets. Kind of like the same as in the Bybit futures trading where you are trading with leverage. If you prefer to use long-term investing and trading then you probably want to use Bybit Bitcoin DCA bot or you want to use Bybit spot trading right here. On MetaTrader bot trading is available also but using automated bots is not as easy as on Bybit where you can do it with just a couple of clicks of a button. So how to get started on MetaTrader and how to execute the trades. Let me walk you through step by step. The first step is to create an account through Bybit. So you click right here, view my dashboard or create account and then it will walk you through the registration process. The second step is to download the MetaTrader 5 app on whatever device you are using. For example, if you are on your computer, you use either one of these buttons. If you are on your phone, you use either one of these two buttons right here. Then you simply open the MetaTrader app. You log in with your account. You transfer money to MetaTrader 5 and you start trading. You notice here that you will be using this Bybit Live, which is known as Infra Capital Limited. That is a server that the Bybit is using here. And if you are starting as a new member you click here login to trade account and here you would choose your login username your password and the Bybit live server let me show the process of transferring money to MetaTrader 5 you can see here on the bottom that I have currently only roughly 3 USDT on this account so what you will do is you come to Bybit into your assets and then you click here MT5 third party MT5 then you click here transfer in and now you can transfer money from your Bybit funding account into your MetaTrader 5 account. You choose the amount right here in USDT and then you click here con Firm. Then it starts processing the transfer and it says that it may take more than 30 seconds. So please be patient. A few moments later. You can see here that after a few moments the transaction has been completed. And when I open the MetaTrader app, you can see that my balance is now more than 87 USDT. So it has been updated. Now I will open a couple of example trades here on the MetaTrader app. But before that I quickly want to mention 
mention that I personally find Bybit trading platform much much easier than MetaTrader 5 but this one is also doable once you learn where to click and what to do. First of all when you want to trade here you can click here to add trading pairs with this one right here. Let's say you want to add another gold trading pair for example gold versus Japanese yen. You click right here then you click again and you can see it has been added. Now if you want to draw a chart of that you can click here and then you can click here chart window and it will open it right here. Now it shows gold against Japanese yen. If we change here for one day now each candle represents one day and as you can see here in the last couple of months gold price has been going higher and higher against Japanese yen if we put here one week for each candle you notice that gold has been going up quite a lot against Japanese yen now if you want to change the view you can click this button right here on the top right and you can see that you are able to have multiple windows here at the same time Time. You can decide how to modify this as you can see you can drag and drop have a second one right here Then we have a third one I will close it and now you can analyze two charts at the same time Or you can even analyze more if you want and when you want to make any of these screens big you can click right here and then it fills up the whole space right here. And if you want to switch between the two, you can click here and then you can click here and you can see it's switching between different charts. Let me choose here gold versus US dollar. I will click here chart window. And now if I want to trade this trading pair, it's relatively easy. I click right here, then I click here new order and here I'm able to sell or buy. Let me choose to buy 0.01. I click here buy market and you can see the position is open here on the bottom. Now let me show another example. I will open here silver and US dollar. I will click here new order. Then I will click here sell by market and you can see it's open right here. So now you can see here one sell so short order and then another buy or long order. You can see the entry price. You can see the profit or loss on the right hand side and the volume right here. When you want to close the positions, you can simply click right here and then you click here close position and you can see it's done. If you want to set up trailing stop or other operations, you can do them right here. But let me show you how to close this. I click here close position and you can see it's done successfully. So that's in a nutshell how you open and close the trades and how to adjust the chart here in the middle. Now what is my number one recommended trading strategy? Let's take a look at some numbers and facts. I assume that most of you haven't seen my previous MetaTrader 5 video so I will go through the numbers again. Let's compare first Bitcoin against government currencies such as US dollar, Japanese yen and other ones. You can see here in the last one day US dollar has lost some of its value against Bitcoin. In the last six months months US dollar lost more than 25 percent in one year US dollar lost more than 32 percent in five years 89 percent in eight nine years US dollar has lost more than 99 percent of its value against Bitcoin. Here is the Japanese yen you can see that it has lost a little bit more today even more in the six months even more in one year more in five years and in the last eight nine years it has lost more than 99 and half percent of their value. So all of these government currencies, US dollar, Japanese yen, euro, British pound, they are going to zero against Bitcoin. So only buy these government currencies if you want to lose your money. Then what about commodities, gold and the other ones? You can see right here the price chart between gold and Bitcoin. In the last 24 hours, gold has lost some of its value against Bitcoin. In the last seven days, gold has lost a little bit more. If we take three months, it has lost even more value. If we take one year, gold has lost even more of its value. And if we take the maximum time frame, you can see that gold is gravitating closer and closer towards zero against Bitcoin. So gold seems to be going towards zero against Bitcoin 
perhaps not as fast as US dollar, Japanese yen and the other ones, but the direction is still zero. So we obviously don't want to hold gold for the long term. What about the other instruments? Because on the MetaTrader 5, you are able to trade even stocks. So let's take a quick comparison between one of the most successful stock indexes in the world, which is S&P 500 against Bitcoin. If we take the last 14 years, S&P 500 has gone up more than 347% against US dollar. But if we take the same time frame for Bitcoin, it has gone up more than 9.3 million dollars. And if we compare for example this 347, Bitcoin has gone double that amount in the last five years. So Bitcoin is completely beating S&P 500. If we take a look at year over year compounding annual returns, S&P 500 is typically uh, roughly 10% per year. Meanwhile, BTC goes up on average much, much more than S&P 500. So Bitcoin is stronger than stocks, it's stronger than government currencies, it's stronger than commodities like gold. What about other cryptocurrencies? As you can see here, there are more than 11 million cryptocurrencies worldwide. However, only three out of millions of altcoins or cryptocurrencies have made a new all-time high against Bitcoin if we take at least a three-year time frame. XRP in 2017, Dogecoin and BNB in 2021. All the other millions of altcoins have lost against Bitcoin if we take at least a three-year time frame and even those three if we take a longer time frame. So in fact, you may have the better chances winning the lottery rather than picking the right altcoin cryptocurrency other than Bitcoin. At the same time, if we take a look at Bitcoin price chart, it has gone from just a couple of cents already to thousands of dollars and it's going towards millions, tens of millions and eventually hundreds of millions of dollars for each Bitcoin. And you can see here that 200 week moving average of Bitcoin has always gone higher. In other words, every single long term holder of Bitcoin who has held Bitcoin for at least 200 weeks has always been an is on profit. So that's pretty good. So that's why my recommended strategy is to convert all the weak assets and currencies into money that goes up in value, which seems to be Bitcoin. So if you have on MetaTrader or Bybit or on any other app, some weak currencies like US dollar, Japanese yen, gold or any other ones, you can easily convert them into Bitcoin. You can do it here on the Bybit spot. You simply choose here trade and then spot. You choose your market. You scroll this one right here and you click buy BTC. That's how easy it is to trade right here. And if you want to do it with an automated bot, you can use a DCA bot by clicking here create. You choose the amount right here and then you click here create now and the bot will be up and running for you. Just to give you an example from Binance where I'm also using the Bitcoin DCA bot. You can see here that it made me already more than $19,000 automatically by getting more Bitcoin. So if you want to get more Bitcoin automatically and get rid of the weak currencies, I highly recommend using a Bitcoin Auto Invest or Bitcoin DCA bot. And if you want to learn how to use this on Binance, I have prepared for you step-by-step -step tutorials on my playlist Earn Money on Binance. So you can simply take one of your fingers right now, click right here in the corner and learn to use Bitcoin Auto Invest bot.